What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we head to one of the most historical neighborhoods in all of Miami, Florida, which was built by Bohemians called Coconut Grove. We're also going to give you a tour of their beautiful neighborhoods. We'll also head to downtown Coconut Grove and we'll close it off at a historical park in northern Coconut Grove that overlooks Biscayne Bay. You got to stay tuned. <music> All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, you guys, we are just leaving Biscayne Bay. If you've seen my two previous videos, when we just left the beach in Biscayne Bay as well, and from afar, you can see that view of downtown Miami and Brickell, absolutely beautiful, and we're actually headed to Coconut Grove, which is technically southwest Miami Coconut Grove is a historically popular neighborhood, right? That was built by Bohemians. All right, so I'm going to get into the history of Coconut Grove a little later in the video, but let's talk about Coconut Grove. It's hugging the shoreline of Biscayne Bay. All right, Coconut Grove is an upscale, leafy neighborhood with relaxed sidewalk cafes and chic shops. You'll see tree lined, uh, tree -lined streets, tons of palm, tree, palm trees. It's very green right in and around the coco mall right the area several green spaces include bayfront barnacle historical state park it's home to a mangrove forest and the iconic viscaya museum and garden centered on a lavish italian style villa you have sailing clubs and you also have marinas that dot the waterfront grove is the oldest permanent settlement in miami dade and many were lured to its shores with the homestead act in the late 1800s, particularly from the Bahamas and the Florida Keys. By 1919, it became its own city, but in 1925, it was annexed by the city of Miami. All right, you guys, so Coconut Grove has its own downtown area. It overlooks Biscayne Bay. You have tons of high-rise condos and single-family housing. You have cafes, bars, restaurants, fashion boutiques. And what you have is an area that has been gentrified as well. There's been a lot of growth in Coconut Grove. And the average sales price can go anywhere upwards to $1.57 million. <music>
right, you guys. So the Bahamas, as you see to the east, and you have Miami, Florida here to the west, and Fort Lauderdale, it's only a 110-mile trek to the Bahamas from Miami. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that Bohemians have been trading with the indigenous, the Seminoles, many Indian and native tribes for hundreds and hundreds of years by boat. Okay, so they were some of the first settlers to settle after all the treaties, all the wars, all of the conquering and things like that that was happening in enslavement. Once everything started to settle down, they were the first settlers. They were the ones dredging the ground, tearing through the mangroves. And pretty much as you see this picture here, early 1800s, Okay, they were building the hotels. They were building all of the homes. They were working in the service industry as well. You're talking masonry building with limestone, carpentry, construction. All right. So they were planting and cultivating the land so that you can live on it so they can dredge that water that was mostly Everglades. Okay, so they were used to tearing through the mangroves. They were already doing it for centuries. Okay, so the Bohemians are the ones who built coconut grove okay and the bohemians now they have a neighborhood that they call in west grove west coconut grove little bahamas the little bahamas this is mariah brown she was one of the first to build homes in this area and this is the mariah brown house uh the mariah brown house one of the oldest residencies in all of the little bahamas is named for its first homeowners mariah and ernest brown the couple was among the earliest bohemians to establish the community and their home rena remains nearly unchanged since it was constructed in 1890 all right it's still standing still since still standing tall since 1890 they built it to withstand hurricane winds and tropical storms okay that's why you see that vaulted roof there the ceiling high ceilings and that thing withstood all of the hurricanes in florida okay so there were some of the first there as settlers in coconut grove remember coconut grove was its own city and then annexed they used to go from coconut grove all the way up into overtown because of jim crow laws and segregation there has been a lot of changes in coconut grove over the time but this area is now called west grove black grove this is the little bahamas all right so the little bahamas is now the western part of coconut grove and that's just a little bit of history if you're ever out in miami florida or south florida you'll get a sense of some of the history this is, has a huge caribbean history in south florida you have uh cubans you have bohemians you have jamaicans you have dominicans you have puerto ricans you have so much culture people from trinidad in south america and barbados and other countries in south america there's so much culture and diversity and history in south florida which is such a beautiful thing but i had my brother here with me my tour guide mr miami himself he's been living here for 10 plus years i think it's 12 years now i guess uh, almost 13 maybe <laughs> i think i was losing count um giving me the tour he knows this area and uh, really well and took us around and showed us all the beautiful neighborhoods i mean i love the greenery i love the palm trees and these homes are expensive guys <laughs> you're talking in the millions average sales price but it's a beautiful area southwest miami overlooking biscayne bay
right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour so far. And as you can see, we're driving right by all those mangroves. All right, you guys, tons of mangroves all over Florida, especially here in South Florida by the Everglades. But we drove through Coconut Grove, gave you guys a tour, gave you a little bit of history, a little bit of background, the little Bahamas of, of Miami. Now we are also in North Coconut Grove. We're at Alice Wainwright Park, which is a 28 acre waterfront park and nature preserve. All right. And Northern Coconut Grove, Miami, Florida. It's on the southern border of Brickell. It is named for Alice C. Wainwright, who was the first woman elected to serve on the city of Miami Commission. All right, you guys. So it's very peaceful, very relaxing here. Um, and it's also has a restaurant here as well. Very relaxing, very peaceful. You could swim here, hang out, and it overlooks Biscayne Bay. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have enjoyed giving you guys all of this content thank you so much for supporting the content by hitting that like button and hit the subscribe button stay tuned we're going to hit a few famous cuban spots here in miami florida for food and we're also going to hit south beach baby and we'll hit calle ocho and little havana as well but i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching i'm out mm -hmm.